Hey, welcome back, comrades. Um, we have a bunch of missions for Franklin. The Lester mission just popped up right over there, and uh, there's also a whole bunch of small missions with question marks. One of them being right around the corner over there. Let's see. Oh, it's there he her is, again. My number one player. You ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya. What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. I was, and you know, I did. I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit. But JB, man, the smoking is real bad, real, real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly. Okay. And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoked, nigga. You know what it's like. Won't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB, appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me. And I promise, this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go to the car. Don't tell me Franklin Clinton ain't got a ride down. So you wanna hit? Hell no. Nah. What happened to you, Tanya? You used to be a good girl. Even good girls need some sugar on their cereal. Days get long on the block. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Why don't you get out the hood? Away from JB. I love that nigga, man, but he bad news. What, like you? Like Tanisha? Find me some rich lawyer or doctor? That ain't real. Maybe JB ain't going places, but you know who he is? If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. Show me how good you got since last time. All right. Let's go tow another car. Let's go. This is dispatch. Come in. We have an accident on a vessel, Spooky Boulevard. Over. We got it. Copy that, vehicle 29. Driver's badly injured. Phone box on the scene. Car needs moving to the nearest auto shop. 10-7. 10-7, 10-4. you don't talk numbers, baby. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Uh, 10-1, you're breaking up. Over and out. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your balls. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. <laughs> yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. You still kicking it with that shit talker Lamar? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Form Drive. What the hell Damn! Here? They got messed up! They're gonna be messed up even more. Jesus Christ. I thought you was an expert now. I guess not. Doesn't want to do it that way. Oh shit. There it is. There you go. Okay. 
fool on the radio said drop it at the repair shop. I heard that. Over. I think there's one on Adams Apple Boulevard. Did you just kill someone? Yep. I'd say you about earned a tow job of your own. Come on, Tanya. I told you, you better than that. Don't get all high and mighty. You know different. You ain't afraid to use what you got to get paid. Man, what are you talking about? I heard about you rent boying on the side, selling yourself. What? That's what people are saying. You know Sharonda's cousin, Kiera's nephew, Deontay? Skinny kid with the big head? They call him golf club. No, I don't know Sharonda's cousin, nephew. He saw you with a rich white boy. I ain't judging. <laughs> I mean, we all got bills to pay. Man, that's so messed up, I don't even know where to start. Crackhead ass grapevine, really outdone they self this time. Just drop that bad boy in the parking lot, and we done. That should do it. Can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. JB will make it up to you as soon as he gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food, do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. Okay. You, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> well, fuck you. Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's go to Sylvester. Is no. I can't haul at my boy now. Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business can make you some good paper. And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. She, I think about it. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. 
Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug, and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. All right, then. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I do have a sniper rifle, so that's good. Do I have any bullets? Oh, hell yeah. Plenty of bullets. Way to get some of this. Need, ain't it? It's supposed to be another hey! point. Fucking yeah, that's something new. I need you to move in. supposed to go the, here oh here Huh. So I do have a counter going there. I don't know what that means. And what does the guy look like? Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Alright. 
Is he gonna come out this door? What the shit? Assassinate the target. Is this the target? Well, let's set it up nice. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! Boss is down! Get an ambulance! Get now! Out I need backup now! All nearby units report immediately! Good. Nine thousand dollars. Cool. All right, now let's see. Where was that towing thing that I can now buy? Was that it? Nope. Yep, that's it. Let's go buy that real quick. Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Hey, nice, I got a new crib. I got myself a towing company. All right, well, that makes sense. So now we will go and see what the hell our new house looks like. Wood. Is it the same house that uh, the crazy tennis player used to live? No, that's a different street. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some 
windy road over here. That's a nice house, holy shit. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, look at this shit. This is nice. Holy crap. And there's a pool and jacuzzi. All kinds of shit. Nice. Look at that damn view, too. Holy crap. This is nice. Open the damn door. No. Go around. There's a telescope and everything. Look at this shit. What is this, a guest house? Ah, oh, it's locked. Is that steaming pile of shit a present for not training you? Oh, look at this. Chop is here too. <laughs> And a big pile of shit. Nice. Hey, hey, look at this, sh isn't it? Nope, can't go in there. Change clothes over here. Cool. Let's get some of that. Health. Can't go there either. How about this door? Nope. Oh, holy shit, this is nice. That's a kitchen with a view. <laughs> Look through the telescope. This is damn cool. What? Take a hit from a bong? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> ah, shit. It's crazy. And that's how you go outside. Alright. Got it. Let's go uh, change some clothes. And sleep and I'll be done for this part not very many clothes oh my
All right, what else do we have? He does not have any good clues. Change these pants. There you go. We're good. Where was the freaking bedroom? Oh, there it is. And we could sleep with sunglasses and everything. It's nice.